Welcome back to Maximum Play, where I don't... I already did a singing version of my intro. I am terrible at this. <laughs> uh, we're back playing some more Don uh, Donkey Kong Banjo Edition, I guess. And I'm trying to figure out the fuck to do. I might as well give that kid some burgers, I think. Well, let me get some fries. Weirdos, I'm a busy guy. We had to fight our way through this crowd of customers you have. <laughs> Quite the comedian. Now how about some salt? We had to- I love that. I love fucking Kaz Kazooie's such an ass. I love it. I gotta get that kid burgers. So I gotta go to the burger stand and get burgers. Then it'll be like, Yay, I get to go home. Such a fat ass. She had like two kids. Fancy a burger, Big Al sells the tasties. Look how realistic the fucking rhino is. How on earth did you get a job in cater? I used to clean out the toilets. I lost my appetite all of a sudden. Give him a try, I've got a few left. Do you want them? Give me some burgers, Al. Okay, kid, burgers coming right up. You want fries with that? Well, too bad. Burgers are all I got. Go see Salty Joe. What? I've got no more burgers left. Better root around for some more. I think there's one just under your left foot. Where I can't see it. Oh my god, what a disgusting man. I can't believe this child wants a burger from him. I gotta get to the train station now. I gotta give this fucker a burger. Oh, I hate calling kids bad names. What am I, a asshole? I was gonna say something mean, but I don't wanna do that. Because apparently, whenever you wanna insult people, you have to do extensive amounts of research on what, on what kind of insult it is to do, to, to actually do that. <laughs> Hey, can't you read for a bag? All food must be consuming a theme. That's no, not. Of course it's not fair, but try and leave with the stick and I'll take it off you. I need to give the kid a burger. Fuck off. Well, here's your burger, kid. Yes. Are you okay, kid? You're looking a little full, shall we say. I'm not surprised. How do I do it? Oh, I know how I do it. I need to learn a move. Fuck. I know what I have to do. I have to learn the backpack move so I can carry him back home. Damn, all these fucking moves. This is what I- this is so annoying about this game. Just when you think you've completed a, a quest, some new shit pops up and it's annoying. <laughs> like seriously. Oh, I completed it. No, you have to do this. See, this is what I'm talking about in this game. It's so annoying. I forget, there was one quest where you had to learn, like, moves, like, three different moves from, like, three different worlds. What a fucking aggravation that was. Let me go back to Westworld. <laughs> By the way, I love Westworld. That show is amazing and you all should watch it. I don't care. I love how people are just so actively like, I'm not gonna watch Westworld. Like, it's not as, like, right now it's not, like, apparently popular, or people are like, I can predict the ending! That's a, that's a, by the way, that's another pet peeve of mine. People who think they know the ending to things. Well, you're a fucking liar. <laughs> liar pants on fire. Like, seriously, there were people, like, predicting what would happen in Westworld and thought they figured shit out and they wouldn't watch it again. And I'm like, you're an idiot. Do you watch TV shows with that mentality all the time? Do you watch fucking, uh, Cheers and predict when, uh, 
Al is gonna come into the fucking bar and and like oh I know when he'll come in spoilers oh shit I didn't even see him I swear these people are everywhere and they're fucking annoying it's trolling man it's funny you don't get sarcasm but I'm like, you know what? I could believe that, but it's really hard to believe it when it's in text form and not with feeling. <laughs> Just saying. Like, I can tell a joke. Like, there's a lot of people- there's a lot of videos I- a lot of people, like, don't understand. Like, there was a really funny one I remember. It came out by Mike Cusack. By the way, watch his latest one. It's so fucking funny. This guy goes and gets coffee and I'm like waiting. Where's the fucking fucked up moment in this video? Because every video he made has that and I'm like, where is it? Where is it? Oh, it progressively happens and it was one of the funniest things I've seen in a while by him. By the way, he did YOLO. That YOLO uh, animated video. Give me some fries and I'll leave quietly. Fine, I'll give you fries, asshole. <laughs> but he made this one, like, 30 second, or 20 or 30 second animation. And it's, it's like, this lady's, it's like happy indie music or whatever. And it's like a long ass title. And, and, and it's like this hipster guy on his MacBook and this girl on the, on, browsing on her phone in a shitty looking apartment. <laughs> Get a load of this. Awesome. I know, right? Give me those fries. I better start frying up some more because I'm all out. Yes, you better prepare for the impending rush. Why, you cheeky? Okay, you were about to say a bad word, weren't you? But anyway. And then it just ends and it plays the indie music again. And people were like, this is shit, unsubscribe? Like, there were so many comments in it. And I'm like, you not get the fucking joke? <laughs> if you don't know the joke, I'll tell you. It's making fun of shows that have long ass titles like that. Our indie is fucked to the point where it thinks that your audience is dumb and don't doesn't get it. And all that. There's one kid. Thanks for finding the little scamp for me. There's still another two to find? I thought there was two in general. It's like making fun of shit like Portlandia and whatever. And, uh, what was the other fucking... Wait, what? Forget it, punk. You won't be needing that flea bag with you to learn this one. Oh, now she says it. Oh, so I need, uh, just Banjo alone to learn that move. And see, that's the annoying part. Now I have to go find a split-up pad so I can learn this move. And when you get further into this game, it gets progressively more difficult to, like, get to certain places with certain characters. So... It gets to that point, and it's like, oh, that's how I get there. Like, that sort of shit. It's like, now I have to find a split-up pad and split these guys up. So now I'm Banjo, only Banjo, and now I can... See, I can't even... I can't even attack or do anything. So bottom line, there are people who can't, like, take jokes. <laughs> in the world. Banjo's got a new empty pack, so why not use it to attack? Wow, they are banging on the walls. What the fuck? See, this isn't the move I need in order to get that kid. I think I learn it in, like, another world, but I can't do this right now. Wow, you suck. <laughs> Let me see if I can blow up that castle. I would like to make this point now that there are a lot of stupid people on the planet. 
And that can't take jokes. Pump room, okay. Oh, I can- I need to blast it with a grenade, right? Yeah, there we go. Boom! Boom! Pump Master 2. Wait, there's more? Oh, I need to fucking split them up. Great. Guess that's where I'll end the episode by activating this. You're not fooling me. There's only one of them, actually. So I go in here. But yeah, as the game progresses, this split up shit gets way more complicated. You know what? I'm thinking about it right now. Maybe I'll like this game a little bit more if I figure shit out. And I'm like, oh, they're geniuses. So I, I can do, I can fly around and shit. And there's a move that, that lets Kazooie jump incredibly high later on. I don't know if I learn it in this level. Let's fill up that castle. I think there are mini games you can play in this castle, that's why. There we go. Woo! Cool. <sighs> Come on. Let's go. Let's go inside that castle. That'll be next time on Maximum Play. See what I did there? Bye!